What's up everyone, it's Adam from Life of Adam and today I have a brand new lifeguarding tip video for you guys. Now today I'm gonna to talk about getting recertified as a lifeguard. As you guys know, you have to get recertified every two years in order to keep your certification and if you don't, then you have to take the entire lifeguarding course over again as if you were a beginner, which I highly do not recommend you to do because the recertification class is a million times easier and I'll explain it right now. So for my recertification classes, I've done three of them, so I've only had to be recertified three times because I've been a lifeguard for six years. Basically what it is for my class, they email you a link which will give you an online course about CPR, AED, bloodborne pathogens. You watch those videos, you like go through like the online quiz, and you're done with the whole CPR aspect of the lifeguarding. Then you meet up at a pool, let's say it's an indoor pool for me, like I went to some college pool, you practice your swimming skills, you do the pre-test, you do like CPR as a group, and then you do a written test at the end and then you're done. So it's only one day. Getting certified for the first time is like a month's worth of like twice a week classes. So it's like eight times the amount of work, eight times the amount of time. For me, it was just one day. You go in, you go out, you have another two years of lifeguarding, there you go. Now the big difference besides time is how strict it is because when you're becoming a lifeguard for the first time, they treat you as if you're a beginner and you have to do the pretest in order to be considered to like be part of the class and become a lifeguard. For the recertification, they treat you as if you've done this before, meaning the whole vibe is like, it's like a refresher. You're there to refresh, you're there to sharpen your skills, because they treat you as if you've already done all of this. So when you do the 300 meter swim, they're not gonna be as strict, they're not gonna be like, you touch the wall on your fifth lap, like, I'm sorry, you can't get your certification. They're not gonna be strict like that. They're gonna be very relaxed. For me, I was with my friends, it was a good time, you did the swim, they're watching you do it, but they're not like closely monitoring your actions and seeing if you're like a super strong swimmer. They treat you as if you were a lifeguard before, you're just there to resharpen your skills. So that's like the huge difference with it. Now, what I recommend is, when you guys search for recertification classes, it's gonna be between 150 to 200 dollars. I think that's the same price of taking a lifeguard certification class, like the entire thing, as a beginner. But you want to find a class that has one day only. There's a bunch of classes that do like three or four days. They do like a whole week. Find a class that does one day and has an online aspect. It's a million times easier. It's not a big commitment. I remember when I was searching for my classes, I had a couple easier options that were closer to me, but they were like four days. Like I'm not trying to do that. I'm just trying to sharpen my skills, get in, get out, have another two years of lifeguarding. So you got to find the right class. And once you do, I'm telling you guys, it's very rewarding, it's very easy, and it makes this whole process like not even something to worry about. And you would be able to keep your lifeguard certification for a very long time, because I'm telling you, it's definitely worth it. You never know in life when you, you just want a lifeguard, and it's good to have regardless. So I hope you guys enjoy, definitely like and subscribe if you're new to the channel, and you wanna see more lifeguarding tip videos like this, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for watching, peace out.